big, like 40 by 20 or so. It's like you could do it. I think it's just about there, dude. I want to fucking Danny way this thing. We get a little remote heli and just play around with some cool shots. Pretty much falling 20 plus feet into a rock hole. I've never been in any sort of supercar before. YOLO or something like that. <laughs> Utah, it's, it's just the best, but uh, Virgin in particular is just, it's amazing. Always find something new. If you look hard enough, you can, you can find something to challenge anyone. Rolling off this cliff, hip step down. I think it's pretty sick. Tough to say the size is deceiving, but it's, it's big, like 40 by 20 or so. 40 by 30, maybe. I'm just thinking, do we need more speed? Oh, I, don't, I really don't think we're any more speed enough. I don't know. I think once we do a couple run-ins, we'll really know. Yeah. I think it looks sick. Banger in the bag. Belt ready to go. We just built a big, steezy jump and a really, really tech line. We want to be going towards you. The run out's going to be so gnarly. Cameron, he builds a little different. I usually take a bit of extra time just to make sure that the danger areas are groomed over. We'd be building and I'd be like, well, do you want to take this bump out or do you want to fill in this ditch? Like, no, it's good. We're good. He'll just scratch it in minimalist. Looks, looks good. Two big bangers built already and, a, and plenty more lined up. Breezing through this trip so far. So we, we decided to rent a, a mo home for the trip. Oh, hey, didn't see you standing there. It was sweet. I actually enjoyed it. Normally when we're out here, we're always staying in hotels. There's so much time wasted driving to and from the hotel and just lollygagging around. But when you're in the motorhome, you're like already in the zone. It was kind of like our chill area. We didn't have to like go way out of the zone to, to go hang out. Oh. <laughs> I knew that was going. <laughs> Get this clown off the mound. I got it. <laughs> Sure. Johnny Damon, World Series. Randy Johnson, who do you <laughs> Randy Johnson's looking to take your head off. Yeah, we're out of the there it is. Oh! We just go back to the RV and kind of have a reset, and then we could get on with our day. And I think we should do that more often for sure. Paul B and his buddies came out with their remote control helicopters. They had an octocopter and then a miniature helicopter, all RC. And they were flying them around, and we got to do some pretty cool shots of that. These cliffs right here, these little, this little mini one, we would catch them and then out. It was cool because a mini heli could get right in your face, and we could do some different shots, and I could communicate with them. We knew it was going to be tech, and and, and it just ended up being even harder than we thought. Just watching Brandon riding, and it took him a few tries, but then he got a really steezy shot. <laughs> yeah, that was so dope, dude. Got here the first day, I was walking around and found this pretty cool rock nub with a shoot into it. Kind of narrow, sketchy landing. And then it goes instantly into like a 20 foot step down. I was like, well, what do I do on it? And I was just kind of racking my brain for a couple days and I was like, it'd be really cool to nose bonk it. And I'm like, maybe I'll have enough time to actually get another trick after. This is gonna be really scary the first time. I think it'd be fine. It was definitely like one of my favorite lines I got this trip. New trick for me, like never really done a jib, jibby kind of trick like that on my big bike, so it was cool. Oh, hell yeah. I wish mountain bike magazines did like sequences, like 20s magazines, man. That's the coolest shit ever. Axe Ben, he's uh, one of the filmers for Freeride Entertainment. Wicked filmer, and he thrives on Utah. So I'm gonna go get a shot over here. 
and then we don't hear from him for a while, and then someone's like, is there, is there goats around here? I thought I just heard them. <laughs> a couple minutes later on the radio, you hear Axeman, hey, anyone got a Band-Aid? I took a spill, and that's, I mean, Axeman is, is hard as hell, and him asking for a Band-Aid's like, I need serious medical attention. <laughs> Had a little meltdown today, like fell off a cliff, sucked. I think it was the same place where we tried to shimmy across the other day with no backpack, no tripod, and we were like, hell no. I'm actually surprised that he didn't break anything because it was like pretty much falling 20 plus feet into a rock hole. A little boo boo. Who knows, he might have even been knocked out for a little bit laying down there by himself. He's like, I just need a band aid. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Sympathy, please. That canyon gap. And that didn't even cross our mind that we wouldn't have enough speed. And it just looked, it looked perfect. We brought our bikes up there and taking a test run, and there was just no way. Like, it's just so hard out here because some things can be so deceiving. Changing the run in, need mucho speedo. That like whole entire rock needs to come out. I don't know if it's gonna work. Judging whether it's big or if it's kind of scary or whatever, you know, it's all discretionary, but. It's like, due. you either do or you don't have enough speed, and that's what we've been yeah. judging. Don't want to fucking Danny weigh this thing. You try to convince yourself that you do have enough, because you built it, and you, you're like, it's totally possible. And then you take a run, and you're like, we're going to not even make it halfway. That's a bummer. It happens. You just try to keep those mistakes few and far between. Oh, that's frustrating. Well, that was like a, a cornerstone of this whole segment, because it was big, and it was awesome. And, and it just, there it goes, wasted time. Now we got to find something else to make up for it. We found a line basically right next to each other. He found a line right here, and then I saw all these cool shelves. Hopefully I'll be able to just ride the line first time and be able to like spin off the last drop. The last line was probably the best one that I found. True zinc fashion, stomps big three, shreds down the line, pops like this big flip. It was a big step down to flip, and it was impressive. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe I saved that. Pretty wild line, and it was a banger sort of statement for the film. So stoked! I got a good one, and then it was the last line of the trip. Gets the adrenaline pumping. We are going to supercars in Las Vegas to go around the Las Vegas Speedway. I've never been in any sort of supercar before, so I'm so psyched to like not just sit in one, but actually go and shred a track. Pretty lucky kids today. YOLO or something like that. <laughs> Yellow's my thumb right now. <laughs> There's my whip. We drove the new McLaren MP4 and the Lamborghini Aventador. We had a little bit of a wager on some lap times. She's gonna get the best lap. I like you're looking at it. Yeah. Started on the Aventador. So much fun, like just so much power and it's pretty insane what those things can do. Go. There you go. Go. That was so fun. That thing is crazy fast. Oh my God. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> as soon as I drove the McLaren, that thing was next level. It was so much fun. You're actually really driving it. It wasn't, it wasn't like a bunch of computers doing it for you. So it was pretty cool. Definitely wouldn't buy a Lambo if I had the money. McLaren. And I thought I maybe had zinc on the McLaren. And then uh, he ended up beating me up by a couple tents on both cars. Hoping I'd at least beat him on one, but that was so much fun. One of the coolest experiences I've ever had, and can't thank uh, these guys at Exotics Racing here in Vegas enough. Next time we come back to Vegas, this will probably be the first stop. <laughs> Decided to come up to Kamloops because it's kind of a mecca for mountain biking. Yeah, that was sweet. Aggie and Maddie have been riding a bunch, so you know, those guys can show me around and ride some good lines. <laughs> 